if you like apple juice, you must hit the like button right now. And if you want to go one step further and you love apple juice, you have to subscribe as well. Now, I know that's a big thing, but trust me, you'll feel good about yourself knowing that the love of apple juice made you subscribe to this very weird and unusual channel. Hence, this intro right now. But hit that like button and subscribe button. I don't normally do this, but I'm insane. But anyway, let's get into the video, because I'm talking nonsense as always. We have got three big games to play. We're not going to make any signings now. Let's just try and keep it semi-realistic. We've made three signings. Eric Garcia from Manchester City. I mean, that's not realistic, as we all know, but it's a road to glory. You've got to do that occasionally. And also, Zach Clough from Forest, who I don't really know what I signed, to be honest. And Appa Riccio from Rayo Valderon. Now my initial plan was to simulate this game against Blackpool, but then I realised they're top of the league. So I kind of can't do that. So we'll play Blackpool and I've not yet simulated any games in this career mode in the actual season. So yeah, I think I can kind of get away with simulating at least three games in this one. I'm going to simulate Bristol Rovers in the Leasing.com trophy. I know that's an incredible bit of silverware. That's sarcasm. But I'm going to simulate that. South End is struggling in real life. I want to play Berry in the second game, but not this time. We all know the situation with Berry there. Really, is quite ridiculous, isn't it? And uh, Wickham are doing great in real life, so I think we have to play them. And Bolton, they're not doing well, of course. We all know that their situation is very similar to Berry. Not quite as bad, of course, but it's a big club. And it's a club I kind of, in ways, like. But I don't mean just because I feel sorry for them more like, but... Bolton will play them as well. But Blackpool, a surprising start. First in the league table. Hopefully, we can go top with a win here. This is what we want to see. We want automatic promotion. We don't really want playoffs. We want the automatics. And we've got Blackpool. Let's go and beat them away. And what's their ground called? I don't know. Google it. I, I, I forgot. I don't know how I forgot that. I should really know that. But anyway, Blackpool away. I don't know what's going on anymore. So then, Blackpool at Moulton Road, apparently. I mean, that's not the actual name of the ground. I still haven't found out, but it definitely isn't Moulton Road. So full strength for our team. Of course, we are without McKeehan in midfield for basically the entire season. So McCrory comes in. Their team, there's no point even saying the names because I know literally none of them, I'll be honest. Blackpool, I think they're like mid-table in real life. I don't even know at all, but... They're definitely exceeding expectations in this career mode. And, of course, another club with a lot of issues off the pitch. I mean, I don't know whether that's still present, but they've had a lot of issues. Let's go and get the win here, hopefully, though. Evans, good ball. Curtis, could be a great start. Good save. I mean, maybe we, we will be able to see in this game why Blackpool are top. Marquis took a bloody long time to get that shot away. It was my own doing that. But we go one the up away. At Blackpool. I just don't know what's happening with this career mode. We've gone from struggling to beat Shrewsbury and Tranmere, who are two teams at the lower end of League One in real life, and yet we're now beating all the teams doing really well. Like, what is going on there? That's football for you. We're basically, like I said in the last video, we are the forest of League One. We really are. We're beating all the top sides, but losing to the crap ones. Evans, not bad. Marquise goes for goal. Good save again from Alwick. No, no do not. I, no, I can't. I can't. I can't. Okay. That time, I didn't directly pass it to him and then he went on and scored. But still, if I hadn't have done that, that wouldn't have happened. But, I'm going to scoot around it as much as I can and say that I didn't cause that because it was a rebounded shot. There we go. That's how I got around that one. It just says everything about me and my ability on this bloody game. I just do not concentrate. It's, just, it's the same with everything in life. My grades <laughs> at school and college were shocking. It's the same here. I didn't concentrate. And now I'm not concentrating here because I'm rabbiting on about not concentrating. And we can't play that in there because I wasn't concentrating. And now I'm probably starting to annoy you, so I'm going to shut up. Evans. Go on, mate. Marquise. This bloke. This bloke cannot stop scoring goals. He didn't get any in the first two games. First three games of the season. And now that is his fourth straight game. And he's got like six goals. John Marquis, we didn't need a striker this season. I said it at the start. I mean, towards the start, I was kind of thinking, yeah, maybe we should do it after the first few games. But no, he's proved me right about why I was right to keep him. 
Did I work that right? I don't know. Well, there we go. Half time. I mean, yeah, decent. 2 1 up against Blackpool. I mean, they only scored basically for my error, but I'm going to skirt around that and saying it was actually just a rebounded shot. But John Marquise is just on fire right now. Two goals again for him. And we're leading the league leaders. And we're currently going to go top with a win here. Gabriel Jesus has gone to Bayer Leverkusen. What a weird transfer. I don't normally pick up on that. But that is just strange. At his age, why would he go to a club like Leverkusen? But they swing it in. They could even score from this, you know. Redeen. Okay, that's interesting defending. But we've got it away. Curtis, I'm going to go for it. Oh, I was about to say that would have been a great goal. It would have been. But it just went wide. Oh my god, I passed the ball to my own player. What's going on there? Gareth Evans proving to me why I was right to put him back into the team ahead of Clough. And he goes and gets. Is that his first goal? I'm not sure. It might be at least his second. But it is a goal for Gareth Evans. I think this guy is actually their captain in real life. So maybe I might have to change him to captain. I don't even know who our captain is in this. I, don't, I, I can't even. Naylor's our captain, isn't he? Yeah, I don't know. But. <laughs> Gareth Evans, he's already doing better than Zach Clough. I'll be, I'll be honest, Zach Clough, I don't even know where I went for him, to be honest. I just had a bit of a mad moment. I've said to be honest like three times, now I need to stop that. But 3-1 we lead now, and we are heading for another convincing win. All of a sudden, we can't stop winning and scoring goals in this career mode. Go on, Evans. We could get, oh my god, four, you winding me up. Oh my god, Marquise has a hat-trick, the first hat-trick in this career mode goes to John Marquise. Suddenly this bloke, I, I, what, I don't know what's going on, man. The first three games of this career mode, we couldn't buy a win. We were so lackluster, so poor. And now, we, no matter who we play, we just can't not beat them. Well, that was an interesting sentence structure there. But like, we, we just can't stop winning right now. And whereas before, we just couldn't buy a win. And John Marquise, can't stop scoring either. Oh, look at this. FIFA 20 set it back to the default formation. What a broken game. But let's just make some changes. This guy's going to uh, have a rare chance. I think he actually started the other day because, of course, Ports have played uh, Arsenal uh, in real life recently. So that's a big game. Marquis, I'm going to take him on for Pittman. And uh, Burgess can come on for what? Mulgoa. On there's Harness, who could prove to me why I need to play him more. Oh, my God. Oh, that would have been a fifth, and Pittman would have got his first goal for us. Swing him, Seddon, nearly. Could actually get it back, you know. Oh, my God, off the line. If we got a goal there, Curtis, off the post. Are you winding me up? We have two consecutive shots in quick succession at the post. Full time. Wow, okay. I mean, <laughs> this is mental. All of a sudden, we are just dismantling every team we face. And it just goes to show, doesn't it, what one win can do. It can fire you up that much. That win against Sunderland away gave us a lot of confidence. Okay, I didn't even skip that, but okay. But what, what a run we're on now. And all of a sudden, that is four straight wins. Okay, so Bristol Rovers in the Leasing.com trophy. Just the name in itself says it is a bit of a meme. We go out one nil. But then again, look, okay. Right, so I've just realised. I was about to say I put up my B team, but then I realised... I didn't actually change it to my B team. Yeah. But we still lose 1-0, which is a little bit of a concern if we're going to lose games in sim games like that. But oh well. And by the way, we are top of the bloody league. Six games in, 15 points. Not bad at all. A tough start, and I keep saying this. But, like, it's incredible how we've just suddenly turned this around. South End, though, in the league, I've had to put our reserve goalie in because... Our main goalkeeper, believe it or not, is an international duty, which is crazy for League One. Uh, can we get a win here? 2-1 win, McCrory and Williams scoring. Okay, so we're now top, and yet my manager rating has gone down to 69. Right? Fair enough, FIFA 20. That makes perfect sense, but in all of our minds, we are thinking, what the bloody hell is wrong with you? Now, Bury, a club that don't even exist, really, or not even in their former selves. It's incredibly sad what's happened to them. With 3-1 win, though, Evans, Curtis and Pittman getting goals. Just, it really is insane, though. None of those players actually play for Berry Football Club anymore. What is going on, man? Like, we, we've won five straight games in the league, and my manager rating's gone down to 68. Are they really that bothered about the bloody Leasing.com trophy? Because I'm not. Okay, I'm telling you that now. Burton. I'm not going to simulate any more games, don't worry. But Burton, come on. Let's go and get a win here. Okay, one now. Oh, um, that number 17 is going for them. 
and a red card, but yet they still won. That's quite poor. Okay, I do understand why my manager rating has gone down again, but still, I'm top of the bloody league, man, and my manager rating has gone down to 67. If it was... Uh, no, I'm not even going to talk, but that is just weird, man. But no, now time for Wickham Bloody Wanderers. I don't know why I said the bloody bit, but anyway, Wickham Wanderers in the league. Where are they in the table? I think they're like third or fourth in real life, if FIFA wants to load. Wickham, tenth. Okay, so... That's um, not bad, I suppose. Bolton, where are they? They're, of course, in a terrible situation in real life. They're eighth. But, though, this game and then Bolton, and then that is it for the end of the episode. But Wickham, let's get into it away from home. So then Wickham Wanderers, a team that are doing very well in real life. I think they were actually top at one point. So, you know, <laughs> we can't write them off at all. In this career mode, of course, they are not doing quite as well, but we still have to be wary of them. We're in our wake, of course, of all grey. The last time we wore that was the first game of the entire career mode. We lost to Shrewsbury, of course. Full strength. Unfortunately, though, I have just realised I forgot to our main goalkeeper back into the team, so I'm going to have to go with Baz as well. Their team, of course, they have Akin Fenmer. We all know that. And other than that, I know very little about that team. Oh, my God. We're in straight away. Evans, if we score this. Oh, my God. If we'd actually scored that. Bloody hell, man. Right. That's cool. That's cool, isn't it? Well, it's not all plain sailing then. Akin Fenma played it into some bloke I've never heard of. And they go to school. Is it just is it just whenever we play in all grey, we just play crap? Right. <coughs> Lovely stuff. <coughs> brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Stop clapping. Right, so it's not all plain selling then. 2 0 down to Wickham. It is this grey kit, isn't it? That's what it is. It's, it's, it is this grey kit. It is. Well, that was absolutely crap, wasn't it? Um, very few highlights and a crap game, just in general. Um, we've gone back to playing like Forrest used to play before this season and um, last season at times. Akin Fenwa, of course, had to score. And yeah. It's going well. They've had so much of the ball, man. They've had so much of the ball. Another bloody shot. All of a sudden, Wickham are just ripping through it. Not all of a sudden. This entire game, there have been. Have we had a shot? Have we had a shot? If we have, has there even been a highlight worthy of, been, of me putting it in? What? My facial expression said it all there. I swear to God that went in the back of the net. I'm convinced that went in. I know I don't sound very interested right now, but it's because I'm just annoyed about this game, man. Like, I'm going to give Harrison a rare chance because uh, he hasn't... I've not really had a chance to play with him yet. Another player that's not really played much, uh, he can come on for Williams and Burgess for what more go. Garcia has already gone up a rating. That's great to see. I'm going to go as far as saying in all of my time playing FIFA, particularly on YouTube, which has only been since last, last September, but still, that was probably one of the worst games by a country mile, top three, without a doubt. I was, there's no positives, not one positive from that. We were shocking throughout the entirety of that game. I'm sorry, what is going on with that manager rating? I know I just lost 2-0 to Wickham. But I'm third in the league. I've had 10 games and you asked me to get promoted. And it's down to 60 bloody rating. Why? I want to know why, man. Why? I don't understand. Let's just see these. Why? Let's just see. Okay. What am I not doing? Maybe youth development. But honestly, I've not even shown you anything because there's no point. We have got no one back that's decent. We didn't need to sign a striker. And... Okay, we're third, not second, but get a grip. And we're not even in the FA Cup yet. That, I mean, I don't, even, I don't know what's going on here. It just doesn't make sense. But one more game to play in this episode. Bolton Wanderers at home. The first game and only game in this episode we're going to play at home. Back-to-back -back games where we're playing a team that has Wanderers in the name, which is 
not really important, but it's just a bit weird. But anyway, Bolton, we all know their situation in real life. They got 11 points after being docked 12. Relegated from the championship last season. Um, I, I feel sorry for Bolton, and I do kind of like him in ways. One of the very first series I did on my channel was with Bolton. I did a rebuild with Bolton. That was back when I had absolutely shocking mic quality and no confidence whatsoever on camera. So, well, I wasn't even on camera. It was voiceover, but still. That was when my videos were really, really quite shocking. I mean, they're, they're not unbelievable now, but they're much better than compared to that one. But I'm rubbing on. Bolton Wanderers, let's go and get a win here, hopefully, and just forget about that Wickham game and prove to the bloody board that we shouldn't be at a 60 overall, because that's ridiculous. Right then, Pompey against Bolton Wanderers at Fountain Park. It really is so cool being able to play at a real stadium. And I keep saying this, but it is just great that we can get to come here. And it's been great so far already this season, hasn't it? We've had a few ups and downs, but mostly... Overall, it has been great, and our, mate, our new signings bar, Clough, will done really well. Right, so our team, full strength. I've actually put our goalkeeper back in now, which is good. Their team, Daryl Murphy at front, captain as well. We all know X Forest, of course. Uh, Buckley, he did well in my Bolton rebound I did. I remember using him. Crawford, Murphy in midfield. Jack Hobbs, another former Forest player. And I don't know who that goalie is. Okay, that seems quite different. I know quite a few Bolton players because uh, of their situation. I'm playing with him previously on FIFA. Um, yeah, interesting team. Evans, good ball. Marquise now. Come on. I was a little bit late with my reaction there, but Marquise could get a goal. And he does. Okay. All of a sudden, we can score goals again. How up and down can this Cremo get? Interesting uh, camera angle there, FIFA. But how up and down can this Cremo get? We go from losing to mediocre sides to getting quite thoroughly beaten by Wickham to beating top sides the league leaders as well and now we're beating this lot like it, it's just so weird this career mode right now let's go for a good win here and just forget about that Wickham game and all of a sudden I mean I haven't <laughs> I actually want to no I don't even know what I want to say what I, no I don't understand what's going on here <laughs> well um Okay, this is this is football for you, isn't it? You, you just don't know what's going to happen. Could actually get a goal back, though. And Buckley's in. Will Buckley goes for goal. Could get the rebound. Side that in. McCrory goes for goal. No, man. No. I, I'm done. I, I'm done. No. What? No. <laughs> All of a sudden, McCrory... Goes and scores an absolute banger like that when all the other shots I've had with him have been really quite average. In off the post, it wasn't, you know, world class. It was still a great goal. And now, with 3 0 up after half an hour, after you couldn't even get a look in against Blue Wickham. There we go. Half time, 3 0. 3 0 to Portsmouth against Bolton. I thought this would be quite a tricky game, even though. Obviously, both teams in real life are opposite ends of the spectrum in terms of where they're in the league. But still, Bolton really, if it wasn't for their issues off the pitch, will probably be doing better than they are. But, you know, it's still mental, this. Like, we go from getting battered by Wickham, really, really for performance, to this. Oh, Williams, is he going to be offside? No. He squares it to Curtis. No, that... I'm not even going to talk, man. I don't know what to say now. It's like Coventry in Blackpool. We just scored a lot of goals for fun. Brilliant team performance. Great quality. I don't know what happened with that Wickham game. We were on such a good form. That Wickham game was just a complete blip. Marquise, if it's five, it can't be five. Evans nearly was. Good save. Okay, then. So, we're doing so well. May as well make some changes. Evans going off a club is actually now higher rated than him as well, which is good. Close can have a chance to play for Naylor. And uh, I think McCoy has also gone up by one overall. And ha Harnes, I want to give him more chances because he actually does all right whenever he comes on. Harnes, I oh, won that well. Well, not won it well. Kept the ball well. Harnes, it could actually be five. <laughs> I mean, that's the league one ability, isn't it? <laughs> and there we go. Another absolutely brilliant performance. 4-0 win against Bolton. I mean, Bolton... Are doing really quite poor in real life. It's really sad to see that. But Wickham was a complete blip. But our great form continues. Our revival continues after quite a you know, slow start. 
I want to stop repeating myself, but it is the truth. Like, it was a slow start, and now we really are getting back on it. Uh, more tough games to come in the next episode. I'll go for that in just a moment, but yeah, another brilliant win here. After the first three episodes were all done in one month, which is very rare, we are now going to move this career mode along at quite a fair pace, hopefully. We're going to get for another month in the next episode. Doncaster Rovers away, who are doing pretty decent in real life. They got to the playoffs last season. Uh, simulate Gillingham, play Wimbledon, I think, because that's quite a big game to play. And I've got to play Lincoln City. I did a Lincoln City career mode on FIFA 19 in my spare time. Also doing something with them and I football manager as well. They're a club that I am kind of quite fond of as well. I know quite a lot about them. Yeah, really great career mode I did for that. Um, and yeah, I've got to play that game and simulate Bristol Rovers. So yeah, third in the league after 11 games. For some mental reason, our manager rating 60 overall. I don't understand that. That's just weird. But another great episode over and done with. And yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed. If you have, then please do like and subscribe. Like I just said at the start, if you do like Apple Juice, do us a favour. Be nice. Subscribe, mate. It's not going to hurt. But there we go. That is it. Another episode of the Forest Career Mode done. The next one will be out on Sunday and we're going to continue to push further on and hopefully reach the championship next season where things will get even more interesting and then the Premier League and beyond, you know. European football, win the Champions League is our ultimate objective like it was with Forest. And yeah, really hope you enjoy him. And that is it. But until next time, like and subscribe to Reds Gaming and I'll see you very soon, lads.